Alright, let's see what we got. I figured turn off the sound. I am so bad at that. Oh, I forgot. Ah. Oh, well. No sound for this introduction anyway. But anyway, yeah, but let's take a look at this. I am very uh, looking forward to this event particularly. With a hint of sarcasm added to that statement. Okay, let's see. Wedding Rob Black Foil added. Ah. Alright. Freaking uh, Breakthrough Princess Arian Rod. Oh, man, I see the trap that's going on here. It's like all of a sudden the waifu's freaking getting in freaking bridal outfits trying to get me in the trap. It's like, guess what, Big Phil? I'm in my wedding gown, so you know what that means. Put me in that trap, and I can't walk away from that. Ugh, whatever. All right, who are the other two? All right. All right. Flower Simone, uh, freaking Foybe, and Caspi. Caspi, or whatever you're saying. Okay, so I guess um, uh, Foybe. 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 I remember Foybe, Foybe from the... Uh, Event with trivia. I mean, I guess she is okay out of the bunch. I don't have Ariane Rod or whatever her name is, but whatever. I mean, these two, maybe, maybe not. We shall see. Hello, boys and puppets. Big Phil here with some more Kamahini Project. Freaking last time, uh, we finished up the event. Uh, what was it? The uh, uh, Eruption of Hellfire, I think it was called. Yep, a nice little fun, fun event. Uh, the first time I actually was able to solo Ragnarok Raid in that event. Very fun indeed. And I was able to get my videos at least up before this event hit the fan. Ah, but whatever. I mean, I still, I'm still working on two more episodes besides this one. Some bonus episodes, if you will. Alright, so anyway, uh, it's a new event, a new dawn. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this event. Let's see. Vow of Love Overcoming Hardship. Ah, they're going to get me in the trap. They're going to force me into freaking make commitments. I can't be forced to make commitments in my harems. What kind of freaking uh, crap is this? I don't know. Samuel Hall, where lovers swear eternal devotions, when an angel, instead of granting happiness, brings despair, an unforgettable memory is revived. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Freaking. This is like the ultimate trap. Freaking the white foods are getting in wedding gowns, and now all of a sudden I have to freaking step up, and I have to freaking. Uh, you put all the money and the effort in making these uh, outfits. Oh, I guess I got to say I do. I mean, who knows? Maybe it's like uh, Ash Lane. I can marry. I can legitimately marry other members of the harem. But yeah, Poseidon isn't one of them. I mean, she's gonna have a. I mean, okay, Poseidon might be a bit forgiven on this because she knows that ultimately I'm gonna choose her over everybody else. And uh, wait, Artemis too, Artemis too, but I'm pretty sure Artemis is gonna have a big, massive uh, hissy fit if she found out what I'm doing in this event. Good Lord. Anyway, let's continue. Yes, 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 new characters added. Okay, limited time only. I don't think I'm gonna get any of these. I really don't. Maybe, we shall see if I get enough max jewels and I have some despair. But I'm not holding my breath on winning any of these. All right, whatever. All righty, whoop. Um, here we go, let's kick this off. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to at least uh, get this done in a timely manner, as per usual. Tis the morning of the event's re uh, release, and I intend to get all the footage on day one. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. That's probably what I'm gonna do, but of course, you know, I'm probably not gonna be able to uh, get to uh, filming and putting them up on YouTube until a while down the road, maybe a couple weeks. It's just been very busy with, you know, Kamahimi Project playlist, as well as other playlists I want to work on, and Twitch, and of course, you know, working during these troubled times. But whatever. Anyway, let's just shut up and let's just uh, hop into the event and see what we gotta do. Alright, here we go. Oh my goodness, I even have to be in a chapel and everything. I must have been drunk at some time, and I made all these promises to, you know, all the freaking the key waifus in this harem. Oh. Don't drink and freaking protagonist, uh, boyos. Don't drink and protagonist. All right, anyway, uh, let's see how this opens up. Your team arrived at a new town. In contrast to its bustling appearance, the passerby seems somehow gloomy. Ooh, really? What? Well, pray tell. Well, are they gloomy because the protagonist came into town and he's here to steal all the waifus? Huh? Is that why everybody's gloomy? And Adelon has submitted the people to horrible trials, wrapping them all in dark sadness. Ah, oh, what, 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 okay, I'll be the judge of the horrible trials, okay? Lay it on me, I could take a whole lot of, a uh, horrible, horrible wickedness. You decide to find the Adelon in order to return the people to their normal condition. Oh my. When you meet the Adelon, 
Almisay. Amisay. 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 Oh, whatever. Oh, okay, whatever. When you meet the Adelon, Almisay. Al whatever. Your team is also be. Wait, your team is also be submitted to a br brutal trial. Freaking grammar game! Grammar! When you meet the Adelon, er Al Mishay, I'm sure, I'll, your team is also be submitted to a brutal trial. <sighs> Will your team be able to face up to your own past and survive this awesome ordeal? I know I can't. My past is pretty <laughs> messy, to say the least. All right, whatever. Time to continue. All righty. Oh my goodness, that's a pretty looking Adelon. Ah. Oh. Whatever, okay, progressing the story, I was like, able to do, do, do. okay, fine, there we go, okay, we all know how it goes, okay, so, yeah, you know the deal, boils, you know the gist, you know what's gonna go down, we're gonna have two champ, we're gonna play up to the sub-boss, I think, uh, okay, if, okay, if, if everything goes according to plan, we are gonna go up to the sub-boss, call it quits there for the day, so I can take a little nap before work tonight, then we're gonna kick off the, uh, Next chapter is up to uh, expert level raid, and of course, after that, we'll be Ragnarok raid and the following chapters. That's the plan! The plans are always something to change. Anyway, let's just shut up and get on to it. We got times wasted, so let's check out the first chapters. Alrighty, here we go. We are gonna start off with the first chapter Lost Love. Oh man, how many loves, loves have I lost? Ah. Oh. Whatever, I mean, that's that's the that's the rate of gotcha that goes on right now. But whatever, we can't freaking uh, mope over the past, you know, uh, uh, failures. We gotta keep pushing forward. So anyway, here we go with the first chapter. Let's kick it off and let's see what goes down. And here we go, in a happy little heart uh, freaking uh, town, apparently. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we got Luna here, who's gonna be the uh, center Kamehimi of the uh, event. Hmm, I don't mind Luna. Luna seems uh, sweet enough. And of course, we also have Foybe. I mean, Foybe is also, you know, sweet and innocent in her own right. Oh my goodness, it must be absolutely serious if she's throwing out the double commas. Oh my. Luna looks and sees a man and woman make eye contact with each other and then look away uncomfortably. Okay, come on now. People can't be shy around each other, right? I mean, naturally, of course. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have anything to say to you. Oh, uh, what? What? Wait. Okay, so um, I guess she's going to be all sassy whatnot. What a thing to say! But fine, I don't care either. Ah, really? Okay, so everybody's all freaking uh, cold about it. I mean, you know, you, they kind of got to uh, enforce a social distancing right now, so they probably are just a, uh, you know, a uh, following suit. They act in the park and whatnot. As you look further, you see lots of couples interacting unnaturally with each other. It's a disturbing scene overall. Timing of this event going on right now. Um, okay, Foy Bay, here's the thing. We kind of have a childhood, uh, childhood friend, Sundere relationship. So, yeah, us fighting is pretty much a, a natural, uh, you know, occurrence when it comes to me dealing with the uh, childhood uh, friend, Sundere. That you know, uh, that, that 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 is madly in love with me. That's just natural. That's just that is just how she expresses herself. Doesn't mean she hates me or anything like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just have a double check. This is the S. This is the uh, freaking. Uh, SSR that comes with this event. I had to make sure that I haven't actually won her. Uh, I, I don't think so. I, I don't think I have a place for her. I, she's not in the harem. All right, whatever. But yeah, I mean, lovers fighting everywhere. I mean, when you get cooped up with uh, your significant other for that long, I'm freaking out, they're bound to be sour at each other. Just natural. <laughs> Did 
get a, they're quite common, you know, it's just like an, oh, like a freaking, uh, they just last for about two hours, and then after that, they're all lovey-dovey, okay? Well, all of them firing at the same time? Maybe not. So I guess we're gonna have to step in and investigate this whole situation. Wait, normally you you say it's not normal? Normally you would say it's not normal, a bit redundant, but okay, uh, what would you uh, say right now then? Exactly! It's not normal! So what exactly is going on here? Okay, we got old man Giza who probably freaking uh, don't have the Viagra to actually get caught up in this, uh, you know, uh, quarrel that's going on right now. I don't know, maybe, uh, uh, hopefully this guy has all the answers. Yep, I sure do! It's all caused that Elon, it's all caused that Elon that came here before! Still with the grammar. Alright, forgiven. She took them, their lovers and couples, and such and done some kind of trial or something with them. Oh, really, huh? I was, I'm okay, um... Uh, Gee, I wonder if that would work on anime protagonists who are really not in a uh, committed relationship. I mean, how would that work? I mean, can you imagine me, my entire harem, uh, getting into a love spat with me? I mean, how's that supposed to work out? I mean, I'm curious of this girl's power, whoever this Elon is. I mean, if she, uh, we should, if... I'm only, I'll be impressed if she could get Poseidon to have a spat with me. I don't like it, I know for sure. But when they came back, none of them would even talk to each other. Oh, really? Hmm. I mean, perhaps maybe they uh, showed each other the good, the goods. Yes, perhaps they showed each other the goods, and it was you know underwhelming, and that's why they are not talking to each other. Who knows? This whole town's gonna come apart at the seams. No more children for sure. We're about done for. Oh no, he's saying none of the people here are gonna boink and fluff. We're gonna die out. That's why you need your you fluff and you know have freaking hot smexies so you can breed and uh, prosper. That's the whole purpose of freaking uh you know breeding and fluffing and smexies <laughs> to have kids. Ah uh, yes, you can boink your significant others you know on a regular basis. <laughs> Okay, game, you're kind of slacking on the grammar. I don't know what her purpose is. Alright, whatever. I mean, uh, let's just power through this. Um, I want to take this man's uh, word for it too much, because we know how that ends up. You know, the crowd that freaking, uh, you know, the civilians say one thing, it turns out to be completely different. Uh, we won't take his word for it, but we're investigating. How about that? Yes, these lovers, these lovers must get back together and start boinking for the good of the future. Yes, that's right. That's a good declaration right there. It's like, these... These lovers need to love one another. Yes, exactly. Well, I suppose it's fitting for her to say again because she did help out with trivia like many years ago. Whoa, you mean it? Thank you, thank you. Ah, no problem, boyo. Even as she receives the thanks of the old man, you notice that Arian, Arian Rod's color is bad. Wait, why is the color bad? Okay, her color is bad. What kind of color is bad? It's like, are you in heat? Are you blushing? Okay, no, now's not the time, okay? I'm, you're not even in the harem, so I, you ain't got a ticket yet. Oh, yes, tis a dastardly sin. Oh my goodness. Somehow, 
Ariane Roth's mood seems to belie the lightness of her words. Together, you head off in the direction of the Aelon. Alright, okay, where exactly are we gonna head off to? It looks like Notre Dame. Is the hunchback ringing the bells up top? I do not know. It's a church! All churches are special facilities, okay? So that could have been my lunch that's, you know, making us all nauseated, but whatever. Hello, goodness gracious me, I've seen pictures of you before, and, uh, yes, all your promo pictures don't have those red eyes, they are actually quite, uh, you know, uh, blue and uh, tranquil, but now you got the red eyes, so now I'm uh, having second thoughts about, you know, my first impression of you. But yeah, rather rude way of putting it. Okay, you can't help me. I mean, you get the freaking love bug. You get the cuddle bug, the Twitter bugs, and whatnot. Yes, I'm here to ask questions. What kind of trials did you subjugate them to? Amisile. Amisile. Okay, I, I think I got a name now. I mean, I had to hear her say it. Amisile. Okay, we, we'll go with that one. I mean, I'm probably going to botch it up like 50 times during this whole event. But, you know, I try, boyos. I mean, she might be trying to cut in. She might be trying to cut in and whatever, you know, just trying to break up so she can get with all the men, which is my, which is why I need to strut my stuff, you know, freaking puff out my chest to look all pretty and beachy. And maybe she'll fall in love with me. It's like, whoa, this one's a keeper. This one's a catch. You know what? Screw everybody. Screw other men. She, they can fluff whoever they want. I want this. I want this big feel right here. Yes, maybe we can do with that. Suffering? Suffering boo-boo? Okay, yes. Sometimes, you know, being in love, having a significant other can be quite the headache, but I'm not going to go as far as calling it suffering. What's wrong with you? Uh, well, is it, if it's really love, then how can it be destroyed by magic? I mean, I that's going to be some sort of love, super X love potion or whatever she's using. Wait, what? Reducing their future sadness? So you mean, so what? You're gonna freaking have them be all sad and miserable at each other for one day, you know, you know, that should take away all future sadness or whatnot? I'm not following your logic, boo-boo. Yes, do explain. Oh, okay, okay, I guess you kind of do have a point, so to speak, but, you know, eventually it will break up, but, you know, it's the time they have together, the short time they have together that, you know, people freaking strive for love for, I mean, find that one, I mean, people want to find that one person to spend that little brief time with. And you're kind of disrupting that. I can see your point. I can see your point that, you know, love cannot last forever. Uh, because, you know, illness, death, and whatnot, and freaking uh, battle might freaking rip them apart. But, yeah, it's the time they spend together during that brief time is what makes love worth it in the first place. I mean, I see the conflict. I feel the conflict already. A decent conflict. Right, well, let's see where this conflict goes, then. 
は確かにそうかもしれないけれど Okay, give her the business, give her the little spiel I just did, said that she can't hear because apparently that's not how the plot works. Okay, so you're pretty much going anti love so, so they don't have to suffer from the、uh, breakup after such a long relationship. I get, I get your logic, I get why you're doing this, I just can't agree with it, and which means we gotta come to blows eventually. Yes, I would believe you, it was the fact that you eyes went full yawn, when you could see the full, you know, iris in her eyes, when they widen and the pupils、uh, dilate like that. You know she's gone full yawn. I would believe you, but I'd never believe any words of a freaking crazy yawn dairy going on. But no matter what they say. Why, yes, of course. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, is this really, you know, you know, the sadness that you want to avoid? I mean, they look pretty sad and because of all, the, all what's going on. Is this what you really want? Well, I mean, challenge accepted. Okay, fine. Let's get up in there. Okay, fine. Put me through the trials. I'll prove you wrong. As I prove every person out here wrong. Even though there have been a couple of hiccups of, you know, proving who's right and who's wrong. I mean, Sahak is one that I still sympathize with, and I don't think she got her just desserts, but whatever. Why, yes,、uh, the townsfolk, okay. But luckily for us, we're not really townsfolk. We are. Okay. We're a group of、uh, freaking、uh, commies, you know, gods, and with one、uh, mortal protagonist over here. So, that's it. So, that's it. So, that's it. I'm pretty sure they're up to the task. I conditioned my waifu, I conditioned everybody in my harem to be able to withstand the most grueling of trials. Alma s i l e snaps her fingers, and suddenly the three Kamihimi are dressed as brides. Oh! Just like that. Okay, I figured they were gonna go. They were, I'm, I was gonna be minding my own business, maybe eating my little、uh, grub hub, freaking up,、uh, or udon noodles. And all of a sudden, I hear a knock at the door, and all of a sudden, they're in bridal outfits, like swinging the trap on me. Okay, this is much more,、uh, you know,、uh, a much better way to,、uh, for them to、uh, reveal their outfits. Okay. I mean, Luna. Luna's looking good. She looks like a totally different person. No complaints, though. I mean, I'm liking this、uh, outfit of hers. Totally different. Okay, for the record, for the record, despite what you are all wearing, I made no commitments whatsoever. This is all against my consent. I mean, you are putting in these outfits against my consent, so don't take it too personally. I know mostly some of you will be bummed out about that, but yeah, that's what it is. You're just going with the flow. No, she doesn't mean that we are officially married, okay? I, I, we ha I mean, I, I haven't even written my vows. I haven't even written my vows. I can't make this kind of commitment. I don't know who I would make the ultimate commitment to between freaking, uh, you know, uh, uh, Poseidon and、uh, Artemis. Both of them are claiming to be my waifu. I mean, freaking Artemis recently claimed that she was going to be my wife. And, brr, you see, I, if she finds out, she's going to kick my ass. Poseidon probably doesn't give two flips because she knows I'm going to end up with her. But I'm not here. My Agilene harem is going to freaking flip out when they hear about this. I'm gonna hold you to that. You are in way over your head. Just giving you a warning, Poppet. 
I guess we're gonna have to freaking, uh, you know, do this, uh, saw style. Uh -huh. Hello, Big Phil. You don't know me, but I know you. You constantly play games with the lives of these waifus that you meet. Now I want to play a game. Let's see how dedicated you are to your waifu's feelings and see if you can actually pull through and make the ultimate choice on who will be the prime waifu for all your harems. Let the games begin. Okay, that's a bad freaking jigsaw impression. I, I'm i sorry, whatever. That came sporadically, spontaneously out of nowhere. Brr. I'm inside, oh, just smiles and disappears like a wisp of smoke. All that is left is a magic circle. Ugh. We're not gonna step in the magic circle, are we? I mean, the last time I stepped in the magic circle slash pentagram, uh, you know what, I'm not gonna even talk about that. Really, just like that, we see magic circle, we're just gonna step in, we're just gonna figure, take a look at it, it's like, nothing demonic about this at all. Cannonball! And just go in there, fine. You stop for you, babe, from rushing in by herself and suggest that everyone should go together. That's right, everybody hold hands. Oh man, I, I got three waifus, but two hands. Which means somebody has gonna have to be the odd man out. Oh my. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be the wise person of, out of the entire group, so yes, best we ask her. I really don't know the history of Ariane Ron. I'm not sure what her background is. I, maybe we'll find out more about her. I'm sure she's fine. I mean, like I said, don't know much about her past, but we shall see. Hopefully we can get some exposition about what's up with her, like later down the road. We were talking about jumping into the freaking random demonic gate which we don't know anything about. Oh dear, we are falling. Oh man, she's getting she's the magic is affecting her. Oh dear. <laughs> That's right. No time for nausea from, you know, or upset stomach uh, right now. We gotta freaking fight for the townspeople. Harry and Rob puts on a brave but weak smile. Seeing that, Luna purses her lips with concern. I thought for a second it was gonna say Luna purses her lips to Arian Rod, but <laughs> it's not gonna go that way, is it? What can hope? I'm allowed to dream. I can dream, can I? Fine, I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll babysit. I'll babysit. I'll freaking do quick glances at her from afar, okay? Uh, it came with sound. It came with sound. That was a nice little sweet sound effect. <clears throat> You nod your head and then you all step together into the magic circle. Okay, where's it take us? I guess we find out next time. Tap to continue. Well, uh, there we go. First chapter's down. We're on to the next. Hopefully, we can get the sub boss, like, uh, you know, after this one. Uh, we shall see. But yeah, there we go. That's the gist of the whole event. We, uh,. We came to a town, everybody doesn't like each other, nobody is uh, sexually aroused around their uh, significant others, and now we come here, where she, you know, decides to separate people before they are heartbroken, you know, before de till death to us part, or whatever, but yeah, we gotta show the light that, you know, that brief time is probably gonna be the happiest that they're ever gonna be, and they're gonna have absolutely no regrets when the time comes. But whatever, that's just my heroic protagonist way of thinking about things. But anyway, let's move on. Unforgettable past, all right? Here we go. Let's kick it off and see what goes down. And we just stepped in and... Hi. You hear the sounds of cheering and the ringing of wedding bells. A man and woman stand in front of the church, exchanging vows. Oh my goodness, ugh. 
It's popping off. I mean, this is... I ne I, I've never been to a wedding before. Okay, fine. I've never been to an actual legitimate... I mean, I've been to a legitimate wedding. But not a uh, anime-esque, you know, a wedding with my uh, waifus. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. Gaia. I was in a wedding with Gaia against my consent. I guess that counts to a degree. Okay, so I guess this is her during better, better times. Okay, when she totally supported this. Okay, so I guess next up she's gonna show us how things went south. All right, let's see it. Yep, I'm really happy too. I just hope us two, uh, th us two of us. Uh, 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 yep, I'm really happy too. I just hope us two of us can keep every everyone happy like this forever. Ah, okay, wait, hold on, wait, time out, time out, time out. Is this guy Marion? Uh, Erishmiel or whatever her name is? Wait, are they, are they, are, are those two going, are those two, are, they, are we seeing the mar the, the wedding of Amishal or whoever she is, is that what's going on? Or are they just like, uh, you know, uh, doing work? They're marrying other people. I think that's maybe what's up. Dots. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, of course. It's always nice, and sometimes not nice, when people you know that you like get themselves married. Ain't it such a nice feeling? Yep, you got that right. I really do not know. I mean, I've seen parents, you know, freaking hand off their kids to be with uh, somebody else's, you know, freaking be, get another family going. I, I saw that. I mean, it looked rather moving. Huh? You never changed one bit. You're exactly the same as you were that day so long ago. Oh, really? Wait, was something wrong? I think I may have missed it. The music cut out. I think I may have missed something very important. Nope, I'm fine. Not a problem. I just want to be able to stay, be your side, making people happy. Uh-oh. Is he trying to figure out, do a confession with that poor grandma? I don't know. Dots. Oh, okay, so yeah, now you see the burden of being a god. Yes. That, that is the burden of being a god. You know, you make so many friends along the way, then all of a sudden, they, you know, move on, they die, you have to live this uh, feeling over and over again. And you kind of freaking have to take a, uh, you have to step to the side as, you know, the mortal coils and the mortal gears work their magic, and yeah. Hmm. I see. That's right, of course. That makes everything all worth it. Even though the uh, the time together is, uh, you know, uh, not going to be permanent, they still don't regret, you know, the what little time they have together. Yep, true. Uh, Oh, oh dear. Oh, that's the same guy from last time but who, that, that she was talking to like before. I guess he is aging and she has to stand by and just let it happen. Oh my. Oh dear, 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 dear. I think I can see the descent into madness going on. Hmm. 
どこかで歯車がずれてしまったみたい。Yep! Immortality is overrated and you can see the、uh, burden that it has by now. You sons of bitches, you want to live forever? Yep, that famous phrase, if you know where it's from. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't picture that happening. I think、uh, we just figured out what is the cause of her, you know,、uh, bad mood right now. Thoughts. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think, a, I think we're about to see the breaking point. Goodbye. I'm too old for you now. It's too hard for me to be with you when I'm like this. Aww. Yeah. Uh, the time when you get that old and it's like you, you, your life is advancing, but you know, your partner just stays behind and you then you kind of feel guilty, so you want her to be happy, so you just straight up leave her. That's a bad move on your part, boyo. No, 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 no. You gotta figure out. Tell him one final,、uh, you know. Uh, words of wisdom when it comes to all this. Uh oh, I think she misread what he, what she, what he meant. It's not that it's too hard to be with her because, you know, it's not, he's not saying that it's too hard to be with you because, you know, you are a handful. It means that, you know, he's not as spry and virile as he used to be and he's just going to slow you down. So he says, to, you know, You know, try to find somebody else, another generation, and, well,、uh, let, you know, I'm just gonna let them speak. Oh, dear. This went south very quickly. Oh boy, oh boy, I think we finally see her breaking point. I think she finally snapped. Oh, I think she finally snapped. Yep, there she goes with one flick of the freaking、uh, light switch. She's going yawn. After separating from her lover, the Adelon who had brought happiness to so many turned dark and bitter. Uh oh. Yeah, boy, oh, that's not how you should have freaking just broke up with her. No. I guess we've seen an image of her. We somehow freaking out. Our minds melted for whatever reason, and now we got to see her background, so now we fully understand why she's doing this. So, yes, no more no more questions about what's going on here. So, let's just go ahead with the trial. Let's just do the, her, you know,、uh, you know, her little、uh, freaking, uh, uh, bidding right now, and then we'll just freaking knock her down a peg whenever the time comes. <laughs> Right, and we better remember it. Damn it! She had. <sighs> yes, I cut off one of my waifus. I feel totally bad about that.、Ah. But yeah, okay, we got. We, the mystery is solved as to why she's doing this. Very sad, we gotta be understanding with her, okay? Yes, she has a legit reason to go all crazy like this. I'm pretty sure she saw it too. Okay, what's wrong with Arian Rod? What's wrong with her? Luna screams as she turns and looks at Arian Rod. Everyone else turns and looks. There, staring blankly up at the sky as if in some kind of trance, lay Arian Rod. Oh no, what happened to her? Did she boink her head or something? What 
happened? You can't do this. You can't knock out a waifu before, you know, she even got a chance to participate in the trial. What's wrong with you? And what kind of spell would that be? She's not going to be the sub-boss, is she? That'd be awkward. Luna tries her best to try and wake up Arian Rod by calling out to her over and over. What? Oh. Aaron. Aaron? Aaron? Well, okay, what is this? Like an ex lover of hers now? Oh, really? Okay, so I guess the, she's gonna. The spell is gonna freaking awaken her traumatic past. Ugh. Looks. It looks that way. Ugh. <laughs> Oh dear, so she has a, she had a, uh, love interest in the past, and okay, now we're seeing how badly that turned out. Oh dear, I, I am so sorry. No, forget it. I just want you to survive, Arian Rod, okay? Arian Rod stands there, half in shock, then he grabs her arm and pushes her into the ceiling chamber. Oh wait, oh my. Oh, so let me, okay, so I'm guessing this is right before Ragnarok. And all the monsters and everything is out to kill both Arian Rod and whoever this Aaron is. And before, you know, they can get, Ragnarok can get to her, he tosses her into a capsule and keeps her safe during the time of Ragnarok. And meanwhile, you know, something claims him. The, no, the natural order of mortals claims him. Okay. <laughs> Oh dear, I mean, it's a shame that there's not room for two of you in there. With a room like this, you can't save me, but you're Kamihimi, so I know you can survive. Oh dear. Okay, what's going to be the last words that you're going to say to her? I'm sorry, Arian Rod, I can't, uh, but I wanted to live with you forever. Uh, oh dear. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Uh, it looks like that's impossible now, but at least I know that I managed to save you. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. So it's gonna turn into one of those freaking unforgettable, forgettable past now, isn't it? Ha! <sighs> Love stories. Erin! Okay, it's not spelled the same. I didn't mean to go on my casa on the whole situation. I couldn't help myself. Arian Rod, Liv, I've always loved, but you know, by by perchance you happen to bump into another, not freaking, uh, you know, smashing dude, possibly an anime protagonist by the name of Big Phil. You can go with him with my blessings. You can boink and fluff all night if you so desire. I give him my blessings. There. The ceiling chamber activates and her consciousness fades. As a result, she never hears Aaron's final words to her. Oh boy. Yes, please wake up. We got stuff to do, okay? We're running a trial right now. I mean, you can't pick it up, pick and take naps uh, like that. I mean, that's Nikki's job, okay? It's Nikki's job to pick and not just crash wherever she damn near pleases. Yes, how you feeling? Any traumatic ex experiences that you know you experienced uh, while you were unconscious? Is she gonna hide it or she's gonna just gonna come out and say it? Wait, does she remember her past or 
the uh, has Pichi been keeping it a secret? You push a still down aerial rod. She flinches and backs up in fear. Oh no! I mean, I. I mean, I'm, I, come on, come on. Have you forgotten how much of a bishy cinnamon roll I am? Why do you have to fear for me, okay? I know we haven't been, we haven't actually officially met, but you know, I'm, I, 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 I'm quite the cinnamon roll once you get to know me. <laughs> Fine, I extended my hand. I extended my hand, you rejected it. It's like, okay, fine, okay, fine. No takesies, backsies. I totally understand. Oh, why? I mean, okay. She, 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 she'll probably be fine. She'll be right. All right. Wait, we're different? Okay, um, what do you mean by that? Why are you gonna put it so bluntly like that? Okay, yes, I know I'm a mortal protagonist and you are gods, immortal gods, but you don't have to put it, you don't have to rub it in my face, goddammit. Yes, tis true, like I said, yes, we can, uh, I am mortal, you are not, okay? And we can just leave it at that. Okay, don't pry, don't do any of that stuff, okay, please? As the worried Foybe and Luna gather around her, Arian Rod suddenly begins to float up into the air like a ghost. Oh, goodness, freaking me. It's, somebody get an exorcist. She's possessed. Somebody call in uh, a priest or whatnot. The power of Christ compels you and all that good stuff. Ah. Wait, what? 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 Uh, wait, is it have to continue? Okay, then, another chapter. Three chapters. I mean, okay. You know what? I, 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 I'm not going to complain. It's an extra set of freaking magic jewels, so I have no one to complain. So hopefully after this will be the uh, sub boss, and we can call it a day because I got stuff to do, like nap. All right, here we go. The gulf betwixt human and Kamahimi. The the gulf betwixt human and Kamahimi. What the gulf? What, the, what, the, what am I not gonna play golf or something? Like in the Gulf of Mexico? Whatever. I do not know. All right, here we go, and we saw some possessed exorcist shit when Arian. Arian Ra, picking that just floating in the air. Alright, let's see it. Oh, it's like, who's seeing these visions? Is everybody seeing these visions or just individually? Ah, someone please tell me. I can't remember his face. Even though, even though I loved him so much. Ah, oh wait, is this, uh... Somebody who's under hypnosis and forced to, you know, uh, reject her love or whatnot. Oh, 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 man, oh, man, what about when it's starting to snap? Oh, no. Okay, hope, uh, keep in mind, right, freaking Aryan Rod. Hearing the angry cries of the woman. Arian Rod trembles as she falls to her knees. Oh dear, I think we lost one. <laughs> but why is she? Why? Hold on a second. Who are you? Who is the she that you were referring to? Oh, oh my, oh dear, oh dear, they're, forget, they're forgetting me, they're starting to forget me, I mean, uh, but to be real, they didn't know that much about me when we got at it, I mean, we just met, all some boinking happens. The two take damage from the vision. You watch, wondering what you could say to ease their suffering. Oh really, huh? Take damage from the vision? Uh... 
I don't know, uh, maybe uh, I just mentioned the vitamin D. Remember the vitamin D! That's what made you fall in love with me! They are being fed doubt illusions, I think. I think they're seeing, uh, I think they're having amnesia or if we're gonna just, you know, mirages or whatever. I really do not know what's going on, so I just gotta sit by and just be the protagonist I am and just spectate. Foybe looks puzzled. You tell her that they're shocked and not being able to remember what their loved ones looked like. Loved ones. Okay, I know Arianrod's a uh, past, but does Luna have one? I forget. I know she's in the harem. I just forgot her episodes. I am sorry. Yes, I completely forgot their memories. I mean, their mem they are their memories, and I really have no business trying to remember them. But yeah, I don't think you... Okay. You, on the other hand, Foybe, you have memories that you would love to, you know, just toss out there. I know what happened to you on the moon base. Luna and Arian Rob smile slightly at Foybe's depressing words. Oh my. <laughs> Wait, who's jealous? Who's jealous? Oh dear, the trial's getting to them and they're about to freaking out lose it. I guess this, this is what the advantage is of having a tragic and a past you want to forget. I mean, you, that's why your mind is completely right at this uh, time, Foybe. Wait, is this uh, is she come is she snapping out of it or she's just you know uh, just a uh, saying the reciting the uh, words that she wants to say? Arian Rod raises her eyes at Luna's voice, but she turn soon turns away. Uh oh. Arian Yes, it is troubling. So we got, so us two, I guess we, you and me, Foybe, are now the uh, protagonist of uh, this, uh, of this event. Okay, so freaking Big Phil and Big Foybe have taken over. Wait, are you, are you snapped out of it? Are you, uh, are you not under the, uh, the, uh, the influence of whatever's going on here? I guess she is gonna be the freaking uh, just uh, you know, seeing it as it is. Like we are gods, they are mortals, they can't last forever. So let's just get over it. You know, boink. You know, how it. You know, boink. Whichever generation we like, and just be done with it. Well, okay, fine. You know, forget speak of the devil is gonna gajinka itself and just appear to us. <sighs> Whatever, okay. Good timing, good timing. Oi! Oi! I just want my hammer to know that I will never be miserable if I ever part from them. I mean, okay, fine. I. I'm mortal. I get it. I get to live my entire life with the best wife who's around. That, that's the. I mean, that's the uh, thing of it. But of course, you know, they're gonna have to carry on without me. I give full consent, you know, after I'm gone, that they can, uh, you know, 
have a little power with uh, whoever they want. Oh dear, here we go. Freaking uh, area around is starting to break. I don't know if Luna is completely herself or she's like affected by what's going on, but uh, hopefully she can be the voice of reason now. Wait, what? I'm merely giving them a glimpse of the future that awaits them? The future? So, wait, did it not happen? Hold on a second, wait, 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 wait. The future that Arian Rod sa uh, saw, the vision, the vision, the vision that Arian Rod saw, saw, was that the future? Which means, the, uh, Willie, that was the future. Um, who was that? Like, who are you gonna meet and who are you gonna fall in love with? Why is that not me? Why is that not me? I mean, okay, like I said, eventually I will, you know, pass because I'm the mortal protagonist like that. And when I do, I'm just gonna get Izakai into another world. And, uh, whatever. But, yeah. Uh, like I said, yeah, you have the, my full consent to freaking move on and find happiness someplace else when I can't freaking be around. Okay, I'm actually getting quite curious. Why you gotta look like me? Let me see a future, please. Let me see my a future you have in store for me. Reality warps around you. When you next look, the Kamihimi and the young man are standing there. But the man has aged cruelly. Oh my goodness. Wait, when you look around the, and the young man. Who's the young man? Oh. No, 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 no. You promised you'd stay with me forever. Don't leave me. Aw, oh, damn it. Here we go. Here we go. Freaking mortalities and immortality is a bitch now, isn't it? Yes, it's a good thing they don't put this up on screen and we're just doing this via visual novel style. In the vision, the Kamihimi cries out tragically as she clings to her dying lover. Arian Rod has to turn away. Ooh, I mean, this must be very real for her. Wow, and I even wiped, I even hyped up my freaking harem so much, like, yeah, my waifu's got this. You ain't, this your trial ain't gonna do nothing to my waifu's. And now we got the freaking SSR cracking under the pressure. With all the energy you can muster, you shout out to the three, telling them, then, them, 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 to stay strong. Why did you? Why did you have any? Why did you have any doubts? Of course I care so much. You are my harem. I, I freaking no wife who's left behind. That is the key motto. And you know, in the future, I do apologize if I forget some names and some birthdays and some presents and some anniversaries. It's just a big harem that I gotta freaking uh, babysit. Huh? huh? Luna, are you all right? I'm glad. Researcher Luna. Oh my goodness. Are we freaking uh, going to Luna's past? Oh, come on. Don't look so sad. I've lived a long life. Being able to exchange my life to save yours was always my deepest hope. Oh dear. Now we're looking at freaking uh, Luna's past. Or present. Or future. I don't know. It's the effect of this place. This place has a special curse on it. Freaking, you know, don't take it personally, okay? Don't, it's not real. Okay, I'm not gonna deny. That is the truth. That is the truth. But, you know, what do mortal women have to do about that? I mean, yes, mortal people, mortal couples. 
They grow old together and they die together. Why you gotta freaking he heckle them? Okay, here we go. Another freaking com a freaking Elon who's right, but going on about it the wrong way. Ooh. They're not giving that little detail. Do they think I was a mortal too? Um, okay, you see, um, gather around, ladies. I know this is gonna be tough to hear, but you see, I'm a mortal. I'm gonna freaking die of old age. And when that happens, or, or something's gonna kill me. But when that happens, I just gotta get Izakai to another dimension, to another adventure. And I gotta leave you behind. It's my fate as a mortal. I thought you all understood that. Fo Foybe looks over at you. Eyebrows furrowed. She begins to shake her head back and forth in, in denial. But I must say, all breaks in. Well, it's not a filthy lie. I mean, yes, no, it's not a filthy lie, though it's not, it's a skewered truth. Well, yes, I understand that. And, you know, that just means I'll move on to the next, you know, uh -huh, Izakai. Oh my goodness, Luna with the words of wisdom. Yeah, freaking hit that freaking nail right on the head. Mm, yes, good job, Luna. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, let's see how truly frightening a farewell could be. Time warps and suddenly your Kamehimi sees a vision of your burnt corpse lying on the ground before them. Oh my goodness, I just been straight up freaking ganked. Oh no. I mean, I mean, I'm pretty, uh, you know, the, I mean, uh, my final words would probably be like, hold my beer. That would be my final words before, you know, my burnt corpse would be down there. But yeah, no regrets. I partied. Master. Because it's a trick. It's an illusion. I'm perfectly fine, okay? Don't let this get to you. It's fine. It's fine. I'm still here. I'm still sitting pretty. I mean, I might as well have fun with this. I mean, my burning course is down right there. Let me just whip out some marshmallows and we'll have s'mores. A la Big Phil. Oh, come on now. Oh, yes, I understand that. I mean, we'll have plenty of time. This ain't real. Okay, seriously, have you ever bothered to ask the mole about all this? Okay, you really didn't think this plan through. I mean, why freaking, uh, you know, go after the mortals? Because, you know, uh, their life doesn't last linger like this. Seeing the shock and daze, Luna, you cry out to her, telling her that's not what happiness is all about. Exactly, there you go. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I got a hair I got a harem of all y'all. 
I got a harem filled with all of y'all people. I know exactly the pill. The, uh, that freaking Kamehameha's a force to swallow. And this time, it's not the vitamin D capsule, okay? So you can just, you can just freaking uh, stow that talk. As Al-Mishael moves away, the vision disappears, but Luna continues to stare into space, her eyes vacant and focused. Ooh, my. Okay, fine, you're moving on. You got, I mean, eventually you will have to move on. Whenever that time comes, hopefully this game will last forever. I'm not really sure. Listen, I have full faith. I have full faith she's gonna freaking dip out of whatever you have planned her, okay? I have full faith in her. Whoa, 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 is this like some sort of inner yandere coming out, like right now? It's like, get your damn hands off my man, bitch. Good lord. Oh my. I mean, Foybe. I wonder how she was able to keep her level head. I mean, I know that she kind of has a tragic past. She doesn't know that kind of happiness, or maybe she's just foolish. Maybe she is a good kind of fool. I, I don't know. Uh, but I guess it works out for us. Good lord, I mean, they are all freaking confronting their past. Freaking uh, getting a harsh dose of reality and the future. Freaking Foy Bay is just all at, uh, just has freaking her eyes set on my booty, and that's it. Oh my goodness, Foy Bay. It's like, yeah, past, present, mortality, I don't give a fuck, alright? I, I, I kinda do, because, you know, big feels right there, okay? I, I, I wanna freaking boy camp something fierce, so yeah, that's all, I, that's all I care about right now. Why, yes, of course, uh... Let the uh, Kamehameha's uh, step aside as the mortal uh, coils and gears make a turn, like, and they are gonna be absolutely absent. She ain't having any of that. Why, yes, of course, she has a bitter memory with no happiness, so she can actually, you know, fathom how being separated from the happiness uh, is, so probably this curse won't work on her? Okay, then how did you think it? Yes, of course, he fell in love. We get it. What, are you saying you didn't fall in love with me either, Foy Bay? Is that what you're saying? I mean, yes, yeah, saying goodbye to me is a shame. It's very bad. I mean, it's not the whole me having another freaking uh, harem with other waifus I tend to and I kind of have to leave her behind. That's not what's the the thing that they should worry about. <laughs> Good lord, Boo Boo, you have no idea. Just then, Lula and Arianrog gets weakly to the, their defeat. The three ladies gather around you, forming a protective screen. Okay, ladies! Let me, oh! No, oh, trust me, their bodies will be fine. They can take much more, you know, much freaking uh, harder hits than this. I don't have much time. Is that a mortal joke? You cruel bee. Oh, tap to continue? Oh, well, there we go. We have the sub boss available, and it looks like it's gonna be the end boss. 
Is that gonna be the thing now? It's just gonna be the, uh, you know, the main boss just at a sub difficulty, is that it? All right, so there we go. I mean, stuff is really uh, popping off right now. This is one of those good, tense uh, stories for this event. Anyway, let's go ahead, let's hop in there and let's uh, do work. Hopefully uh, this will all run smoothly. Here we go. Oh God, this is a water type. I should have at least done some research on the, okay, why is there no music? Why is there no music? Why is there no music? I gotta run this muted? Huh, what a shame, but yeah. If I knew that it was gonna be a water type, I would've awakened uh, somebody. Raiko, uh, Brahma, one of the two. Now I feel bad, I gotta freaking go in, I gotta do this event with my like weakest team. Fine, whatever, let's just get this done. All right, all right, all right, all right, so we'll come back to that. I messed up already. I haven't got my mind right. It's been one of those long days. But it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter one bit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out a way how to change this up. Yeah, but really, really. Freaking that, we had a water raid two raids ago. So can we please, you know, uh, do another one? I mean, not do another one. Do a different one, I mean. And it really doesn't matter. She's about to go down anyway. I gave it two turns, and she'll be all, you know, defeated. Like, let me see. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I'm just going to finish this up. Because, yeah. Of all the teams, my my lightning team is probably the suckiest currently, right now, unless until I get some of these uh, people awakened. And there we go. It all took was one turn. So yeah, this is gonna be very interesting uh, at the higher difficulties, but whatever, we are done. Okay, seriously, why did the music cut out? Why did that happen? I did not know. Um, that really takes away from the whole freaking freaking drama of the scenes, and the fight, and whatever. Uh, gee, I do not know how to feel about this. But at any rate, uh, yep, there you go. First two chapters and sub bars. This uh, event has turned out to be the quite the dramatic one. But it's nice and structured. It's, stru it's nice structure uh, drama that's playing out right here. I mean, shame, how would some of the other waifus deal with that kind of situation? Like, some of the more mischievous ones. I mean, this is why I need to freaking uh, manage my, uh, who I brought with me. Just imagine what would happen if I brought, let's see, a Neava Tap, freaking Satan Chan, a freaking uh, Cthulhu Chan with me. How would they react? How would they even play her? It's like, it's like, yeah, we don't care about long-term relationships. He's just a little, a little sex doll for the time being. Yep, that's right. How would they react? Either way, I guess that's, that's what I get for freaking, uh, you know, selecting my waifus from the hat. You know, just going down the list, like, okay, uh, for this uh, mission, I got Luna, uh, Foybe, and Aaron for this one. Hopefully, the, they won't take this event personally. But, lo and behold, all right, whatever. I need to get some work done, so, yeah, but I'm going to end the episode right there. Hopefully, later today, I'll be able to kick this back off while burst time is going on, and we have a nice day, and I get everything uh, filmed, at least. We shall see. I got other projects I'm going to work on uh, on top of this. But, yeah, hopefully this time, everything will run smoothly. One can only hope. But until then, boys and puppets, y'all better behave yourselves. If you decide to misbehave, be sure to invite me because I am bored and I need something fun to do. Carry on!